blessed Sunday to you, our precious and faithful viewers, browsers, visitors, and friends. Good morning. I'm Minister Nicolin Stevenson. On behalf of our founder, International Presiding Bishop and General Overseer, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis, his wife, our International First Lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, our Senior Assistant Pastor, Reverend Isilda Noteman, the International Executive Management Council, the ministers, and the Power of Faith family. Welcome to our Sunday morning live worship service. We're beaming to you from the Power of Faith Ministries International Headquarters right here in the sunshine city of Portmore, St. Catherine, Jamaica, West Indies, where we preach the undiluted word of God. Wherever we find you today, be it on the PFM Family TV, Facebook PFM Live, or YouTube handle Apostle Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis, TikTok, or Twitter, we are excited that you have chosen to worship with us in our men's Sunday service. And of course, we are in men's convention, embracing the theme, Return to the Old Landmark. Today, friends, we have two, two, two Holy Ghost anointed sessions for you. The first one happening now, and the other at 6.30 p.m. this evening. You are guaranteed to be blessed. Oh, yes, a blessing is in store for you. Be reminded that we have only one morning worship Sunday, one morning worship service on Sundays, and it commences at 7 a.m. And remember also that you may call in your prayer request anytime during the service. And you may also make your requests in the Facebook and the YouTube chats. Of course, we will see them and we will pray with you. Stay tuned for further announcements and reminders. For now, convention is in session. Convention is in high gear. So come, come with me. Let's go feast at the master's table, which is spread and ready for you to dine. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me Shut 
shadow. In the shadow. I will abide. I will abide. With a storm so fly for raging over me. In the rock. In the rock. Sing, hide me under the blood. Lord, hide me under the blood. Say, hide me under the blood. Lord, hide me under the blood. Hide me. Hide me under the blood. Lord, hide me under the blood. And I shall decide his blood. Let me see thy face, Lord. Let me see thy face. Let me see thy face. hands and shout the high praise. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and shout the high praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is an excellent God, isn't he? Hallelujah. Just raise your hands in his presence and just breathe the word of worship. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. This is the house of God. This is why we came today. We don't just come to receive. We came to give. To release our worship and our praises to him. Hallelujah. 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 When the music fades And all is stripped away And I simply come Longing just to bring Something that of worth That will bless your heart I bring you more than a song For a song in itself Is now what you have required yeah. You search much deeper within Through the way things appear You look into my heart Sorry, Lord. yours every single breath I bring you more than a song for a song in itself is not what you have required you search much deeper within you search much deeper within
Oh God Almighty, just praise him. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 We bless your holy name. We worship your holy name. We lift you up, Almighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let your fire, let your fire, let your fire fall. We need that fire, great God. We need your fire. We need your power. Mm. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we exalt you. Hallelujah. 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 Our hope is in you. Our faith is in you. Our entire being is in you. Is in you. We live, move, and have our beings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonder you are. We are grateful, Almighty God, that you have brought us together another morning to worship you in this live Sunday morning worship, divine worship service, where we come together to lift up your name, to exalt your name, to bless you in this men's convention under the theme, Men Return to the Old Landmark, to empower and engage in the work of Almighty God. We lift you up, Almighty God. Just praise him a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Let it not come from your lips. Let your praise come from your heart. No lip praise this morning. No lip worship this morning. Must be from that depth. Hallelujah. 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 Transforming worship this morning. Empowering worship this morning. Empowering praise this morning. Because we serve a big, mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, great God. Mm. 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 Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. This is your house. These are your people. These are your people. Mm. You need to be fired up in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Glory. 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 Glory to his name. Glory. Mm. Glory. Glory. Mama, ma, ma, Glory. Glory. He is here in the house. He is here in the house. Let us worship him. He is here in the house. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and praise him. Lift your hands and give him praise. Lift your hands and adore him. Jesus will worship you. Mm. Oh God, mm. Jesus, 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 you're the sweetest name we know, you're the sweetest name we know, you're the sweetest name we know, the name that took us out of sickness, the name that took us out of pain, hallelujah. That's why we can celebrate you this morning. We celebrate you for who you are. We celebrate you because you're God. Hallelujah. You have taken us from the miry clay. You have taken us from the destructive path. And we can stand as men and women of your kingdom this morning. We have a lot to give you praise for. Hallelujah. We bless your name this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to take your hymnals and we're going to sing from our redemption song books number 628 number 628 jesus just a mention
sorry, there's a call come ringing. There is a call come ringing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. There's a call come ringing over restless wave. Send the light. Send the light. There are souls to rescue. There are souls to save. Send the light. Send the light. upon our prayers and we sing the prayer refrain Jesus just a mention of your name I'm going to invite as much of you as possible Jesus, to join the altar let us consecrate ourselves to the kingdom of God hallelujah thank you Jesus your name. as much as possible please make your way to the altar Flowers hallelujah the desert Jesus. blooms oh God. again like fire in winter's cold like your precious gold 
mention, just a mention of your name. May the flowers flow, flowers flow. the desert, the desert blooms again. Say like, like fire in winter's cold. convention if you are seated please stand men we are going to cry out to the Lord this morning hallelujah hallelujah all those females who are not on the, at the altar and you are sitting in the congregation just sit the men will stand we are going to pray hallelujah praise God men I want you to lift up your voices to the kingdom of God Hallelujah. There's a work in the kingdom for us to do. Hallelujah. We need to cry out to our God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise be to God. Let us all pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you this morning as the only wise God this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, with men, great God Almighty, who are soldiers of the cross, Oh, great God Almighty, standing in your awesome presence, oh God. Father, you have commissioned me, oh great God Almighty, for a particular purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. And God Almighty, men, oh great God Almighty, have lost, oh great God Almighty, the first love, great God. We have strayed in the name of Jesus Christ from the right path, oh God. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth as the theme, O oh great God Almighty, says, Lord, we're going to return in the name of Jesus Christ to the old landmark. O oh great God Almighty, I pray right now, O oh God, that you, dear God Almighty, will touch every human being in the church, especially the men, great God Almighty. This morning, Almighty God, I place every servant in your hands, Almighty God, the one who you, Almighty God, have commissioned from the foundation of the world in the name of Jesus Christ to have dominion over the things of the world, great God Almighty. I pray that great God Almighty, men will seek you, great God Almighty, in a very special way, in the name of Jesus Christ, and God Almighty will return in the name of Jesus Christ to that mark of God Almighty what you have created us to do and to be in the name of Jesus Christ fulfill your purpose oh great God Almighty in the main great God so they will offer the leadership in the name of Jesus Christ that ought to be offered in the nations, in the homes in the society, in the name of Jesus Christ I pray right now for a special touch and anointing in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ will undergird every man in the name of Jesus Christ this morning. I pray that our spiritual eyes will be open, O oh great God Almighty, and we see the laws of your liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that Lord God Almighty will embrace your precepts, O oh God Almighty, and the concept for which in the name of Jesus Christ you, great God Almighty, have created us, O oh great God. Let men find the rightful place, O oh great God Almighty, in the kingdom in the name of Jesus. No more wasting of time, O oh great God Almighty and do irrelevant stuff but mighty God I want oh God Almighty for you to call that man great God to their rightful place in the name of Jesus Christ let us be fathers in the name of Jesus Christ let us be fathers almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ to serve our children to develop our children in the right way God in the word of almighty God to be that priest in the name of Jesus Christ in the homes oh God I pray that almighty God men will be the protector in the name of Jesus Christ in their homes oh God for the entire family let their family feel safe and secure 
based on Almighty God, the attitude and attributes, God, that you are placing us. I pray that Lord God Almighty, men will seek you for direction in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that Lord God Almighty, no decision in the name of Jesus will be taken outside of your will. But great God, all we do, Lord, is consulting you on every occasion, God Almighty, for the decisions of our families. In the name of Jesus Christ this morning, I come to you on behalf of the men, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, men need to stand up. Men need to stand up, Almighty God. We need to stand up, oh God Almighty, on the authority in the name of Jesus Christ that you have given unto us. No wavering, Almighty God. No retreat, great God. No surrender, great God. But to be the son and God in the name of Jesus Christ that you have called us to do and the leaders that you have called us to be in the name of Jesus Christ I pray great God that fresh oil will be poured out in a supernatural way oh God Almighty Father let men be proper leaders oh great God Almighty those who are in politics those who are in the school situations God the principals in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray about the school rooms, oh God, will be populated with men. Lord God Almighty, I heard the news that God Almighty, the classrooms need men. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we call men from the east. We call men from the west. We call men from the north. We call men from the south. And we say, rise up and take your rightful position. Leave the street corners. Leave the gambling dead. Leave the ganja smoking. Leave the scamming. Leave all of those things that are ungodly. And walk into the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And take your rightful position. So that you can be directed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take your rightful position. Because you were created. In the name of Jesus Christ. For that purpose. So great God, touch our men this morning. And so Lord, right now I pray God for the service this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that there'll be no lack of your anointing here this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that every soul will be consecrated. I pray that there'll be focus in this worship service. In the name of Jesus Christ, no waywardness, great God Almighty. I pray that your anointed presence will curfew the tabernacle in the name of Jesus Christ. And every soul's great God in the four walls right now will be touched, great God Almighty. And somebody will experience something new in the name of Jesus Christ. So many of us have strayed in thoughts, in words, in other things, great God. But I pray right now, Almighty God, that will be focused in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not allow the things of this world, Almighty God, to consume our thoughts. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that all those persons who are standing at the altar, Almighty God, and they came for a special touch. They came because God Almighty, something in their minds that the Almighty God want to communicate with you. I pray this morning that you will consecrate every vessel this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ consecrate every vessel yes lord we are in the presence where you demand holiness and righteousness holiness without which no man holiness without which no which 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 no man god oh god almighty shall see you and so great god this morning we come not in our own stead we do not come here to show self. We came here because Almighty God, we want to make that contact with you. We want to communicate with you. We want to hear from you what you are saying in this hour. So we place ourselves at the altar, Lord. And God Almighty, I pray that you'll bless Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. Equip and empower him, great God. I pray that you'll bless Minister Petro for Davis. I pray that you'll continue to, oh great God, keep the fire burning in your servants, God. I pray that there'll be no slacking, great God Almighty. I pray that God, you'll continue to pour in so they will have to deposit, oh great God, in the persons and the people who they lead. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I pray for the viewing audience right now. I pray that someone will be touched by your mighty presence and power. I pray that somebody will be healed by the words. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the ministers. I pray for the ushers. I pray, great God Almighty, for the prayer warriors. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for the choirs. I pray for the musicians. I pray for every vessel that will be used this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your fire consume. Let your fire consume. Let your power consume. Let your presence be felt. Let your anointing drip like blood, God Almighty, in this service. Hallelujah. Let your anointing flow. Let there be no lack of your anointing. In the mighty, magnificent name of Jesus Christ. Let there be no lack of your presence. Hallelujah. Father, we look to you for a great day. I pray for the speaker. I pray that you'll touch him again. I pray that you'll anoint him again. I pray that every word will come forth with power and clarity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, take this service, Almighty God. Do what you please in the name of Jesus. It's not what we are about, God. It is your agenda in the name of Jesus Christ. It is your agenda, God. So place the service in your hands. Bless you for what you're going to be doing, Lord. We thank you for what you will be doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you praise. We give you honor. And we look to you right now. For the outpouring of your anointing. On your people, in the hearts, on the lives. And at the end of the service, God, we shall say, Oh God, you touch base with us. And we are truly blessed by your mighty power and presence. Have your own way, Lord, as you tell you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, who taught us to pray and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord everybody. Give him praise in the house. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy, holy are you, Lord. We are in the presence of the holy God. Hallelujah. And I want him to receive our praise because we're praising him from our hearts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Great day to be worshiping the king. A great day to be worshiping the Lord. I'm happy that I'm able to stand. Hallelujah. I remember the days when I couldn't. Hallelujah. Because of what the devil was trying to do. Hallelujah. I'm very happy that I'm able to stand in the presence of the Lord. And also to be doing his work, his will. Hallelujah. I'm excited about him. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is doing a mighty work in the lives of his people. Hallelujah. You take your Bibles and please turn to our theme scripture for the convention. Joel chapter 2. And we're going to be reading from verse 1 through to verse 32. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. Brothers and sisters, we should be happy. When we are praising him, we should praise him with every breath in us. Because he's the one that has loaned it to us. It's a loan. For a period, and the period is to worship him. Hallelujah. Praise God. I read and you follow. Joel chapter 2, reading from verse 1 through to verse 32. And it reads thus. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There had not been ever like the like, 
neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of flames of fire that divert the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pained, and faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another, they shall walk every one in his path, and when they shall fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city, they shall run upon the wall. They shall climb upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun, the moon shall be dark. The stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. And who can abide it? Therefore now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart. And with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. And rent your heart and not your garments. And turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repented him of the evil. Who know it if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even as meat offering and drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priest, the ministers of the Lord, weep before the porch on the altar and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send corn and wine and oil and he shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. But I will remove far off from you the northern army, and I will drive him into a land barren and desolate, with his face toward the east sea, and the hinder part toward the utmost sea. And his thing shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he has done great things. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion. And rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, 
and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I have sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that he dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never, shall never be ashamed. Hallelujah. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in heavens and in the earth. Blood in fire and pillars of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the lord comes and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be delivered for in mount zion and in jerusalem shall be deliverance as the lord has said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. And in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Are you in the remnant? Are you in the remnant that will be called? Hallelujah. Are we wasting time? Are we in the remnant? Hallelujah. Here in the reading of God's holy word, we please to say, the Lord has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. let the church say, Amen. ask your neighbor, are you in the remnant? Amen. Hallelujah. God, there is a remnant. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we'll be having our choir ministry. And the choir that will be ministering unto us as the voice, the voices of inspiration, will you make them welcome in the care of the Holy Spirit? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
name of Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and ask her or ask him, have you been to the potter's house? Hallelujah. That's where our imperfection is noticed. That is where the potter has to be turning and spinning and sanding and reshaping and remolding. As we go through the process of life in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So we need to go to the potter's house. At this time, I just want to greet the Holy Spirit who is the head of my life and who continues to operate in his God's people and give us the spiritual insight to continue to serve him in spirit and in truth. I want also to recognize our founders and leaders who has been leading the charge for, from the foundation of the Power Faith Ministries. Bishop Dr. Delfred Davis Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, put your hands together for our leaders, please. Let us recognize them in a special way. It is not easy to lead people, I know. Hallelujah. But with God's grace and mercy, they have been doing a fantastic job over the years. And many of us are seated and standing here today because of the obedience to the Almighty God. So put your hands together again for our leaders. I also want to just welcome all our viewers on whichever network we you find us this morning. All the prayer mothers, the ushers, welcome to the house of God, our visitors. And at this time, to, the, to do the official welcome and acknowledgement, I will call on exalt a Rohan small to come and do the welcome and acknowledgement please put your hands together for him and after which we'll have the united voices choir ministry in that order please just go ahead and magnify the lord with me this morning come on just shout a hallelujah to the king of kings this morning Hallelujah, hallelujah, we must acknowledge the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit who is evident in our midst this morning, is that amen? Our founders, Bishop Dr. Delford and the Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, to all you wonderful saints, I greet you well in the matchless name of Jesus, is that amen? But if you're excited to be in the house of the Lord, just nudge your neighbor and say, we are too blessed to be stressed. Come on, just minister to them and say that we are too blessed to be stressed. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my soul cries out. Come on, what does your soul cry out this morning? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know that there are a few new faces in our midst. So can I ask those visiting with us for the first or second time just to wave your hands so we may acknowledge you this morning. Yes, I'm seeing them. Continue, continue. Yes, I'm seeing them in the back. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for you. And we welcome those viewing on the various social media platforms, whether YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Viewers on Flow Cable Network, PFM Channel 602 and 672, Digital Play Channel 20, or website www.pfmfamily.org. We thank you for tuning in, and your blessing awaits you. And from our founders, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, our Senior Assistant Pastor, Reverend Isilda Noteman, our Men with a Mission President, Minister Andrew Brown, the Ministerial Staff, Officers, and Members of the Power Faith Ministries, we welcome you all to this, our Men's Sunday Morning Worship Service. Men, in a world that often overlooks or underestimates your significance, we acknowledge and celebrate your unique qualities and contributions that you bring to not only your families, but our church and our wider society. And just as Jesus surrounded himself with his disciples and entrusted them with spreading his message, we recognize the immense value of your presence and leadership within our congregation. And as our conference yesterday reminded us that together, let us strive to be the men that God has called us to be by exemplifying integrity, compassion, wisdom, and strength in all aspects of our lives. The Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15:58 reminds us 
Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. Our young men in Christ, I also remind you, in 1 Timothy 4, verse 12, it says, Let no man despise the, thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. That amen. amen. Congregation, please put your hands together and make welcome all our visitors, our viewers, and our brothers. God bless you. Do you feel welcome in the house? Hallelujah. I want also to acknowledge our men's president, Minister Andrew Brown. He's doing a fantastic job. Put your hands together for him. We had a great conference yesterday because of his organizational skills. I want to give God thanks for the leadership of the men's department. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stand with me a little bit. Hallelujah. Just reach out. Reach out and give him a praise. Hallelujah. Sing holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and angels bow. Disciples were content with just being fishermen. But according to Matthew 4 and verse 19, Jesus says, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. It's hard to take the first step. When I don't know the way Each turn just seem uncertain I've learned to walk by faith You gave me a promise That you will never leave You
me, Lord, and I will follow. Is it the cry of our hearts this morning? Have we totally surrendered to the leadership of Almighty God? Hallelujah. Lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Hallelujah. Jesus will worship you. Once we follow Jesus, he will take us into our destiny. He will take us into the correct destination. Hallelujah. There is nothing disruptive about the leadership of God. Hallelujah. All we have to do is have a made up mind. This morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, our lives should reflect him. Lead me, Lord, and I will follow. At this time, we are going to be having a selection from the gentlemen. Could you please put your hands together and make the welcome. In the care of the Holy Spirit, lead me, Lord, and I will follow. Hallelujah. Lead me, Lord, and I will
she was about to come in contact with the glory, settled down.
set my faith in agreement with yours. And I declare the just shall live by faith. And whatever you came in this room dealing with, whether it be sickness in the mind, sickness in the body, I decree and declare that Jehovah Rapha is here and the healer is healing. If you are sick in your body, wave your hand again. Somebody lay hands on them. Somebody lay your hands on them. The power of God is about to be demonstrated. Not just from the pulpit, but from the pew. The power of God is about to be demonstrated. Not just from the pulpit, but from the pew. And I decree and declare all of the hell you went through produced the kind of faith to provoke the power of God to heal. The healer is healing. The healer is healing. Said the healer is healing. I said the healer is healing. We need to see a wonder. To see a sign, we need to see a sign. You've been through enough hell to produce the kind of faith to provoke the power of God. Grab your neighbor's hand, we're gonna to pray together. Things that are about to start happening for you supernaturally. Jesus. Somebody just go ahead and demonstrate that faith in him. And thank him for your healing. Thank him for your deliverance. Thank him, thank him, thank him for your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Don't hold back, no, don't hold back, don't hold back. Hallelujah. The anointing is in this house. The anointing is in this house. Don't hold back. Pour it out. Pour it out. Pour it out. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. 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 Tap into the anointing. Tap into the anointing. Jesus, Jesus. The healer is here. The healer is here. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! You have been struggling for 12 years. Hallelujah! Jesus is passing by. Just touch the hem of his garments. Touch the hem of his garments. Hallelujah! Jesus, we worship you. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord, yes. Let your power demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your power. Yes, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord, yes. Yes, Lord, yes. Hallelujah. We magnify you. We magnify you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your deliverers in the house. Tap into the anointing of God. Hallelujah. This is the right place to be. You're in the right place right now for your deliverance. Hallelujah. You're in the right place right now for your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Why are you holding back? Why are you holding back? Hallelujah. He's here. He's here. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the deliverance. 
thank you for the breakthrough mm. Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus we worship you we exalt you yes Lord thank you you're holy you're all powerful you're all powerful you can do the impossible Jesus, there's none to be compared to you. Mm, that's why we worship you. Mm, Jesus, that's why we worship you. Mm, thank you, great God. Jesus, hallelujah. I want to thank the gentlemen for their selection. Hallelujah. Continue to allow God to use you in that mighty way. Gentlemen, hallelujah. We praise you. It was indeed my pleasure serving you this morning. I wanted to stay in the spirit. Hallelujah. As we welcome the Echoes of Faith Choir with their ministry. And the next voice you will hear is the voice of our men's president, Minister Andre Brown. Please make them welcome in that order. At this time, receive the ministry of the Echoes of Faith in the care of the Holy Spirit. We worship the Lord. We worship the mighty name of Jesus. Moses' instruction to the children of Israel was to be thou strong and very courageous. Because our God, your God, promises never to leave you or to forsake you. The church worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Not because of being so faithful. Not because of being so good. That's right. You've always been there for me. Supply my every need. You were there when I was lonely. You were there in all my pain. Guiding my footsteps. Shelter.
in my storms. Your loving arms protect me, shelter me from harm.
morning give God the high praise in the house this morning oh if you feel what I'm feeling this morning praise be to God we worship the king this morning we celebrate him this morning hallelujah glory to God hallelujah praise him praise him praise him Bless his holy name. God is worthy to be praised. Praise be to God. We lift him up this morning. We must pressure the devil with our praise. I said we must pressure the devil with our praise. We must cramp and paralyze him with our worship. Oh, praise God. How many know that your worship is a weapon? How many know that your praise? Oh glory, oh glory, oh glory, oh glory, oh glory, oh glory, oh glory to God, hallelujah. Jesus, what an atmosphere, what an atmosphere, what an atmosphere. Lift your hand in this anointing. Oh, praise be to God, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I feel a thrill. Oh, praise be to God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Mm. Jesus. I say, Jesus, what do you say? I say, Jesus, what do you say? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is men's convention. Convention is in the house this morning. And the men are in action. Praise be to God. Put your hands together, sisters, for the men this morning. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. It's such a wonderful thing to be in the house of the Lord. To lift up his name and to magnify him. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. We give God thanks to his Holy Spirit that have watered our soul this morning. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. What a refreshing. Glory to God. I love when I come to church and feel the anointing. Hallelujah. If I come to church and you're getting it, I'm not getting it, I'm jealous. I must be a part of it. Praise be to God. I encourage your believers, do not be a left out. 
Oh, glory to God. Give yourself to the anointing and to the presence of God. Praise God. I acknowledge our beloved bishop. Oh, my God. A wonderful servant of God. As I was viewing and healed the family, heal the nation. And I saw him sat there. Oh, praise God. I shake my head. And so what a humble servant of God. Put your hands together for our bishop and founder, the Reverend Dr. Delford Davis. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And didn't he warm their soul over there? Praise be to God. We give God thanks for his beloved wife. Powerful woman of God. A woman of substance. Praise be to God. Our first lady of the Prophet International, Reverend Dr. Petrova Davis. Put your hands together for her. Praise God. I tell you, she had the fire burning. Yesterday, the conference take uh, another turn. It's the first time we have ever had a female speaker and no better person than Dr. Petrova Davis. Didn't she warm our heart? She said, man must wake up. Man must stand up. Man must stand out. And man must take leadership. Praise be to God. We thank you, Dr. Petrova Davis. We were challenged and it was well received. Oh, praise be to God. Believers, continue to pray for our leaders. Continue to love them. Don't tear them down. Love them. Encourage them. Praise be to God. Because not many are like them in the world today. Love and appreciate them. Praise be to God. Were you blessed so far? Praise God. Were you blessed by the voices of inspiration? Were you blessed by the united voices? Were you blessed by the gentlemen? Were you blessed by the echoes of faith? Hallelujah! Praise be to God. I love when I'm in church. Praise God. To speak in the morning session. Praise be to God. He's a friend of this ministry. He administered time and time again in our fasting service praise God he shared and the time of refreshing a man of God who love God and who want to go places with God he is the pastor of the harvest tabernacle there in Portland and so with any further ado I want you to help me make welcome to bring us the mind of God in this men's convention morning service. No other than Reverend Baswell Raymond. Receive him in the care of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Happy Lord's Day to you all. Amen. Happy Lord's Day. Come on. Yes, take your seat now. My heart is falling apart right now. <laughs> you pray that it come together. <laughs> Greetings to Bishop Dr. Davis and to Reverend Dr. Petrova and to the men and the leaders and especially to the leadership of the men's group who I believe consented for me to be in this trembling possession. <laughs> I honor you and bless you this morning. Thank the Lord for the kindness that he shows to our hearts. I'm so impressed this on my way, I came a little before seven, and I'm so impressed to see people dashing and uh, sprinting and stepping fast. 
at this early time of the morning to come into his house, I pronounce the benediction upon you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hallelujah. In your rising up and in your lying down, in your going out and in your coming in, and in all that you put forth your hands to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is that the choir I saw a preacher take refuge in? And preach like you wouldn't believe it? Yes, I was away and I watched the convention and I saw a preacher take refuge in the choir. <laughs> and boy, he put it on. Thank the Lord this morning. Thank the Lord. <sighs> Hallelujah. Now, would you pray with me all with, through this time and uh, trust the Lord to minister to our hearts in a very tremendous way. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I'd like to, for you to turn with me to Genesis. Genesis chapter 32. Genesis. I'm going to be in Genesis as much as I possibly can really. Uh, it's now I see what time is it. And um, I think you go like 2 o'clock. I was just checking. <laughs> All right. Or you might say, well, uh, we go at two, noonday, but you could stay at 2. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Genesis chapter 32. Hallelujah. I read verse 1 and verse 24. We're going to have a few verses, but uh, I'll work with you and you work with me. And Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of that place Menahim, mean two camps. Verse 20. Four and twenty-five. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him, make note, until the breaking of day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. I'd like to speak on that subject this morning. Alone with Almighty God. Alone with Almighty God. A sense of aloneness with Almighty God. If you and I are not there this morning, I pray that uh, a sense of aloneness will come upon us. Hallelujah. You stay right there. Modern life leaves us very tired. With all its technological advancement and achievement, Modern life leaves us very tired. Computers all over, science and technology, and the new way of doing things, yet still we don't have enough time in the day. And to add to all that, colleges and universities are now using Saturdays and Sundays. To lure God's people away from him. Uh, setting exams and having classes and uh, causing the compulsion to be upon you. Mm. Busy world. The 27th of June, CNN reported that 9,000 flights 
was delayed because of pending tornado and other weather-related problems. Not in the world, no, just in the U.S. 9,000 flight, busy sky. You can't imagine the numbers of people in those places. 9,000. Not nine, not 900, not 90. Thousand flight. Busy world. In our own country, Jamaica, we have over 16 radio stations. Everybody have a choice. Busy world. Busy life. No quiet time. No sense of aloneness with Almighty God. Noise, noise, noise. Whew, thank you, Jesus. And may I say that you and I somehow sometimes get caught up with all of these movements. And sometimes we are tempted to drive through a drive through place to get a little God like McDonald's and Burger King and all the other fast food places we have. Drive through, no time. We have to eat, multitasking. You almost want to drive and do a five course meal. Busy world. Busy world. But in our text this morning, as you pray with me and pray for me, and my mind was in pastor note, man, that's you. Miss you in a couple of fasting, and I have something in my thought while I was preparing, and I maybe mention it later on. God bless you. May he strengthen you in your ankle bone, in your knee bone. In your body, in your spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And here we see in the text before us this morning. Jacob went out. And by the way, in chapter 31, there is an account as he labored in his uncle's place for 20 years and more. He realized that his cousins, his uncle's son, were having a conversation. They were not very happy with Jacob. They felt he was getting rather rich. And also his uncle's countenance has changed. And Jacob Beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, it's time to move. And chapter 32, and Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. Thank you, men. And the brother of the church says he's going to speak to himself. The others of you can listen in. I'm speaking to myself and our brothers and our men. Others, you can listen in. And Jacob said, this is God's host. But here goes down into the text. Verse 24, the Bible said, Jacob was left alone. I'm intended to introduce a couple of men to you this morning, and I pray that you be with me. There is a man in 1821, in the 10th of October, his name is called Charles Grandison Finney. He was 29. He was already an established lawyer. 
He was also part of the masonry. 29. We're talking about 1821. But something was affecting him. And he made a decision. said, I need to settle with God. And he said like this. I decide that he must settle the question of his soul salvation. Wasn't a Christian. Had not known God. But he's experiencing something in his heart. And he said, I need to settled with God. And here's what he said. I walked quietly toward the village and so perfectly quiet was my mind that it seems as if all nature listened. It was on the 10th of October and a very pleasant day. I had gone into the woods Immediately after early breakfast, and when I returned to the village, I found it was dinner time. Yet I had not been wholly con unconscious of the time that had passed. It appeared to me that it had been gone, that I had been gone from the village, but for a short time. He further said, I will not come down. From the woods. Until I find God. And it's almost eight hours. As this young 29 year old, year old lawyer. Not having an experience of God and godly things. Felt a burning in his heart. And that he said I have to settle the question. Of my soul's salvation. He had to find a place. He had to find some time. This is not a drive through business. It's not a hurry up God and try to twist his arm. It is time to find a place. And to find some time. To meet with an almighty God. said he felt like electricity has passed through his body and he even argued why others have not experienced that and Jacob was left alone now he didn't come alone just right here he had run from his wrathful brother over 20 years by the instruction of his mother and by the scabbing he had his wrathful brother Esau intended to kill him his mother said go up to my brother your uncle and he did with the blessings of Jake, uh, Isaac his father but there he was over 20 years ago. Part of the power of a church. Save, sure. Being in the choir, sure. Participating and doing church work, sure. Oh yes, he did experience God. And that journey in chapter 28, it is told that he was on his journey to his uncle. And night came and he got tired. And he took some stones and went to bed. He had not known God like Charles Grandison Finney. He's established. And here Jacob, while he was asleep, God came and met with him. His first experience. Because he, he was a rascal. He wasn't one who obeyed rules very well. Kind of like some of our brothers are told, don't drive the church bus home. Work and put it back and then get home. But you think you need to. 
No, Bishop, don't talk to me. Him just call me the end of me and heavy me with this burden. And everything else gone out of my head. I'm so glad to be here to deliver it so that I can think otherwise. <laughs> yeah. And there, Jacob, the Bible said, have a dream that the angel of God ascended. Please make note of it. Ascended. Where that angel come from? An angel of God ascended and descended. And then he said, oh, this can be no other place but better. The house of God. A rascal. You had not known God. You had not experienced God. You had not come into any place with God. He has been a trickster. And unfortunately, his mother helped him, hating and abetting him. But here this man met God unintentionally. And angels ascending and descending. Where did that angel come from? Well, at chapter 32, you realize as he leave in, oh, his father, his father-in-law, yes, it is his uncle and his father-in-law home. And intend to go back. The Bible said the angels of God met him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And you need to appreciate God when God is tending to you. And no matter how rogous you are and God's spirit attend you, you need to cherish it. He had not intended to have that dream that night. He had no intention of seeing the heavens open. He did not know what hosts of God looked like. But he had an experience and seen angels not coming down from heaven first. But angel ascended. There was an angel with him. The rascal he is. And to thank God that your parents have been praying for you. And to thank God that you've been living so oh, terrible. And you wonder why God had not cut you off. Oh, the prayers have been praying. And an angel has been assigned to you. And you know, if God had not been with you, David said, I would have been swallowed up. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to get here. And here, has he on his way now, back after 20 years, accolades, riches, Wealth, he had advanced in the secular world. He had advanced in wealth and stuff and education. But spiritually, he hadn't advanced at all. At all. And God is going to make sure that you stay where he wants you. And this morning, listen to me. Those of us who are saved, you hear say amen. God paramount purpose for those of us who are saved is that you be sanctified. And he's going to make sure that you be sanctified. And for those who don't know him, God's paramount intention is that you get saved. And no matter how you run, you don't come power fast, but wherever you sleep, power fast is going to come where you are. That's what happened in chapter 28. Thank you, Lord. You see, over by Laban's place of employment. Over by Laban's family business. It was noisy. It was contentious and quarrelsome. There was no time to be alone with God. Jacob said, 
Not only that, his father in law countenance has changed, and his cousins, his Laban's son, is mad with him. But he said, 20 times his father in law, his uncle, has changed his wages. So over by Laban, place of business, his union delegates. And reasoning and working out salaries. Jacob said, 20 times. No time for prayer. No time. And that's where I was thinking of you, Pastor Not man. Or when I come to fasting, I see you lie down between these two chairs. Are you praying with me, don't you? Busy over labor and compound. Nice. And I want to talk to our men this morning. And we think it's a sissy for us to quiet our heart and shut down our laptop and shut down our business and get quiet with God. But here, God is going to make sure that Jacob is left alone. Alone. And I tell you, friend, this world don't want you to be left alone with God. They're going to do everything. And dear brothers, this world... He's going to do everything to distract you when it's not work. You feel like you can't stay in your house because it's too miserable and contentious and Satan plugs some kind of misery between your wife and you and your children, in-laws and other things and financial problems and difficulty and he's just trying to do everything to get you not to pay attention to God and this won't be a drive through hallelujah this this morning is a call to our men that our testimony is too noisy, too much echo, no sinews, no deep abiding conviction, no spiritual awakening. Nice. And God is going to make sure. Let me give you, a, I told you I'm going to introduce you fast to some men. I won't be able to read it out, so let me run through. In the 15th century, Martin Luther woke up. And the task of the daily assignment lay before him. And he said, I cannot afford not to spend three hours with God each day before my daily assignment. No, please know, these guys weren't any pushover. These guys were very educated, strong men. And he said, I cannot. So Charles Grandison spent one whole day with God to sucker his soul salvation. One whole day. A bottle of water and his Bible and up to our garden 8 o'clock and I am not coming back down until my soul find peace and rest with almighty God. God bless this holy name. This is not a room for rent when I run in you run out. No man. Oh God praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, let me introduce you to the man. Charles Wesley, Charles or John, he said, he didn't put any time. He said, I can't go any further unless I spend some time with God. 
sitting on your stool or kneeling down, turning off all three phones, turn down the laptop. Heard folks calling out on the dead, you don't answer them. And that's about Bishop Carr Park. And I know he's here. Yes, he's there. But he's on an appointment. There's a time. Oh, I, 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 I don't like this word devotion. With my devotion. No, 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 no. It's sound too fast and quick. And we just get it over with. And we just get out. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like it. I like time with God. Time with God. Charles Grandis of Finney was a 29 year old established liar. You, you could Google it. And I don't Google message, alright? When I finish with this, the paper tear up and I go looking for a fresh brain. I just research the history of men who is hungry for God. And determine that God will be paramount in his life. Men, I don't, I don't, maybe it's just one woman I have, which is Anna, who spent time in the temple with Simeon. All day, every day, fasting and praying. Simeon could depend on her. Oh, God bless you, church mamas. I take note. Last Wednesday, I saw a lady, the last person pray. And I had to open my eye and look. She looked elderly. And the word was pumping out of her spirit. And she weren't exercising the energy like I am. And I had to look. Oh, tell me her name. Evangelist Williams. You don't have to ask if that woman pray privately a lot. Because publicly she could not stop. And that's exactly what our Lord said. Whew, oh God. Please Lord take it. Okay I give you a many men. Three men already? Oh take your time I'm giving you one more. You're used to this one. Remember we don't go until... Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah with me. Oh, I'm giving you one more. Dr. Billy Graham. He's in heaven now like the others. When he started preaching, he said he had a struggle if the Bible was the final authority of God. Even though he's preaching. And he struggled a long while wondering if the Bible, oh, you come on, man, you well legal trained minds. Don't tell me your mind don't run. Oh, you, oh, what you call engineering brain, theological brain, medical brain. Oh, the devil always come and work in those brain. And he doesn't really match up sometime with Bible. Your time on his knees is the subject. So he left his home, his room, and walked out into the forest. It was a warm August night. It was late. The moon was out. He came to a tree stump, a tree that's cut down. You know what I mean? Where he knelt down and with his Bible on the stump in front of him. It goes like this. Oh God, there are many things in this book I don't understand. There are many problems with it for which I have no solution. I can't answer some of the questions. 
that are coming at me. But even though he was praying sincerely, he could tell something was still unresolved. And then he said, Holy Spirit finally enabled him. Then he said, hear what he said. Father, I am going to accept this as thy word by faith. I am going to allow faith to go beyond my intellectual questions and doubt. And I will believe this to be your inspired word. When I get up from my knees at the forest home that August night, my eyes were filled with tears. I sensed the presence and the power of God as I had never sensed in months. Not all my questions were answered. But a major bridge has been crossed in my heart and in my mind. I knew a spiritual battle in my soul had been fought and won. Oh, there are some issues in our personal life. In our home, in our family, in our church. It's not driving and praying, though that's okay. It's not jogging and praying. Jacob is now going back home to a wrathful brother. And he has planned strategizing. Oh, men regret that. Planning, organizing, seat and paper, and said, This is all we wanted. Oh, no, sir. We have to get serious over a tree stump. We have to go into the forest all day, like Charles Grandison Finney. We have some matters to settle, them. and it's not by might, nor by power. It's by the spirit of the living God. Pray with me, man. Yeah. Hallelujah. And here's what Jacob did. He got his men and he said, this part, this portion, this direction, and that portion, go the other direction. Let me tell you how he said it. Verse 20 of chapter 32. And say, he moreover, behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the presence that go before me. And afterward, I will see his face. Preventure, he will accept me. Pals, are you men? Where are you? Stand up, man. Oh, stand up fast, man. I, Pastor, thank you for your gifts. Pastor, thank you for your service. But Pastor, want to see a spiritual move of God. Pastor, want to hear when you open your mouth, oh, a deep abiding conviction is flowing out of your soul. Pastor, thank you for going out with him. And helping him and walking with his briefcase. But Pastor, please don't leave Pastor alone. Let me preach. All right? Pastor, I want to see a spiritual outpouring of the men around him. And I'm talking to myself. Stand up, man. I'm not really good at it. So don't think I am just preaching down. Young man, I'm not good at it. I have to go before God daily. Oh, not weekly. Daily. Before God. And Jacob said, let me send some presents. Let me send some physical. Verse 21, so went the presents over before him. And himself lodged 
that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took two wives, his two wives and, and the stuff let me run. In verse 23, and he took them and sent them over the brook and sent them over that he had. This is where he left Bear now. And God is going to make sure that you and you and you is left Bear. Nothing to hold on to. No education. No wealth. Oh, nothing. Just you and God. Oh, praise you. Oh, hallelujah. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled with him. Not me with my know-how and skills and pray in a particular way. Think we can just impress God. Huh? There wrestled with him. A man. Ain't prepared for that. Scheming. Conniving. Scamming. Strategizing. Oh, it's up here. It's a family trait. He learned it from his mother. And over by his mother, brother Laban. Boy, it practiced on him. Twenty times. Ten times. Is it ten times? Ten times. Take your time. Take your time. Don't deny it. We're born into our families. We see things in our families we don't like. All the boys are going into jailhouse, in and out, in and out. All the girls are getting pregnant before finishing school and colleges. Oh, come on, don't hide it. It's a burden, it's a bother. The poverty large loom. You borrow and can't pay back. You're in debt. Oh, you take the part in the money and you take draw. You can't. Oh, come on. Let's not deny. We do have. Oh, all that and more. And God knows. Oh, those on social media. You know. Sit down a little and take some rest. Remember, we don't leave early. How could we address in this matter and want to leave early? And we have we have a host to go back home to that we know some wrathful husband is there and children and some neighbors and we have a work. That you are just muscling up back for tomorrow morning. Oh God. Come on, say praise the Lord. Oh, come on, Ron. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm gonna take a water break. You take a praise break. Come on. You know you don't waste time because we are left alone today. <laughs> oh, Bishop left us alone today with God. Oh yeah, God tell Moses, leave them alone and you come up here. I want to have a talk with you. Oh, praise Jehovah. Oh, God, all my notes get mixed up now, but I'm going over Genesis chapter 2 and 3. Go with me. Just go with me. Don't worry. Hallelujah. I thought so well I can, I can work it. 
chapter 1 of Genesis, the last verse. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Are you there with me? Say amen. amen. So on the sixth day, he stopped working. But man was not yet made. Woman was not yet made. And everything that breathed life, like not tree and mountain now, mean flesh, was not yet made. Are you there? Hang tough with me. Hang tough. Is the end of me, maybe she'll call me now. I'm telling you, see the pressure is on me from the time he called me to right now. <sighs> that if I don't deliver him, mother tell me, I give you ample time. So here, at the end of chapter 1, notice in chapter 2, the dimensions and the dynamics. Eden is now created in chapter 2. A place for man. I feel, as I read the scripture, that God coincided the day of rest with Eden. Because at the end of chapter 2, you see, he said at the end of all the creative, it was the sixth day. But now on the seventh day, he's resting. And on the seventh day, on the large day, and the day of rest, he created Eden. Say Eden. It's that same very place that Jacob come to my friend. That special spot I tell you, Daniel have that special place. He have an upper chamber with an open window. And that's where he go to settle spiritual matter with God. <sighs> Hallelujah. 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 So here at Eden, as God begin a new dimension. Let me read. And verse 5. Quickly. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth. And every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had caused it to rain upon the earth. Had not and there was not a man to till the ground. Verse 6, but there went up the midst from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. Verse 7, all of this is Eden. All of this is on the seventh day. I'm going with it. Take your time and pray with me. And that God intended to do something very special with men and women who come and spend some time in his private presence. Verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril the breath of life. And man became, I know you know it, like recitation. Let's go with me now. For God to breathe breath in Adam, nostril, that's close. You know Jamaican, me no love man. Oh, come on, man. But God intended not from a distance relationship. And if he's gonna do something for you, it has to be up close. Nose to nose. Mouth to mouth like what Elijah did. And God, he can't breathe in you when you don't come into his presence. Oh, no, 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 no. He doesn't breathe far. If you want what he has, you have to come where he is. And he, God, He's going to do some formation, some spiritual 
formation and he's got to do some spiritual breathing. Come on, brothers. God is calling us to come close. He needs to form you. And he needs to breathe into your nostril. It's a reason why God puts it there. Up close. No rush. So that you can sing well choir. And it doesn't really matter what is your calling. Whether you fly a plane, captain a ship, lead a school, head of the police force, it doesn't really matter. There's no secular, no, 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 you're, you're a God man, and you're going to lead that police force or that army or that school. Every day, God has to breathe into you. Oh, stay with me. Hallelujah. Oh, shout hallelujah. Verse 8, I'm running. And the Lord God plant a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he God had formed. Let me preach. You're the moment me to preach. And everybody can take over from Bishop Delford Davis. Uh-uh. Leave that alone. God has to farm you. Shape you. And he said, where input? He put the man whom he had formed. Not who his friend like. Hallelujah. I can take off my coat. And don't, you know, I've been wearing this for over 42 years, so shut up. When you uniquely shape the belt, kind of make you look like you have a, you know. So I pull up everybody over everything. <sighs> you notice it's not so narrow. My young friends, it's kind of, oh boy, that pants could make two of mine. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. That's okay. And God. Is not going to place you into some things that you think or I think I deserve to be. And you're not going to get that girl either who you think is one of the hottest and nicest. Oh, she's consecrated. She has prayed up. And she deserves a man whom God had formed and shaped. And that breathes into his nostril. I'm preaching to myself. Well, that's what happened when you are left alone with God. He can shape you and mold you. And that angry spirit you have, he can breathe it, oh God, in Jesus Christ. He just keep on breathing in you, breathing in you, oh God, until the anger and the resentment and the scheming and the scamming has blown out of you. Hallelujah. Me. 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 Hallelujah. I want you to notice what takes place when you are left alone with God. Oh, yeah, your pastor's wife saying, 
Somebody call her and say, go to Western Union. And the next day, go to Western Union. Uh, you have to spend time with God. I don't know about you, but that time my back is against the wall and I take up the phone to call some friend in the state and he said, who are you going to call next month? Who are you going to call the next month? And I put back down the phone. And I lock up the place. And I lock up the door. And I say, oh God in glory, the financial situation is rough. It's ten times your wages has been changed. It's ten times you have been looked over. God divine. Oh, you're praying, you're praying. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to skip verse 9. Go to verse 10. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. Our skills, strategizing, techno technologically, you know, the scripture said a stone that the builder, you know that word when it's a builder, technocrats, engineers, them wall filled with paper, bright boys. He said, the stone, the builders refuse. These are technocrats. Oh, these are seminary graduates. We think they, they can take over from Bishop. They can take over. And, oh, uh, uh, uh. Bible said, it's from Eden, a river run. Nowhere else. Not from our brain and our intellect. Not from our know-how. And our committee meetings where we quarrel and vex and slam door and go home vex and not in a circle. At Eden, you wait till the river starts to run. Because it's only from Eden, dear beloved ones. Oh, yes, my dear musician brother, I pray that you begin. As you have, I believe, start play from Eden. Our men's minister, I pray that you will go to Eden. Because you don't have anything to give these men hard-headed, stubborn, scheming, conniving, tricksters. No, the they're going to they laugh off for you. From that quiet place, Eden, a river run. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, church of God. Yes. From Eden. Oh, yeah. Not only did. Please, I'm coming. Hallelujah. Not only did the river run from Eden and split into some different sections of gold and annex and other stuff, but right there in Eden, not on the first six day, right there in Eden, oh, when you spend time with God, you don't have to give him your shop list. It's in the text. I'm going to show you. And God saw that it was not good for the man to be alone. He has never said one thing to God. He just stayed in God's presence at Eden. And God said, Oh, you think we serve a God who don't know? What we need in Eden, God spoke. It's not good for the brother. Oh, brother, 
Don't make those at work tie you up and draw you into some occultic life behavior. Oh yes, those listening. Oh no, 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 no. You spend time with God. And this convention, oh, I heard your team. Back. Well, that old landmark is time with God. Aaron got a little hasty and wonder what pastor in the vestry do so long. And it's time for the preacher to go on. While Pastor Moses and God is settling some matter. Some hasty, hot head. Men pleaser. Run ahead and say, I don't know what happened to Pastor. He's on his face in the vestry. And he can't be released yet. Because he needs to come out to give you something to settle that miserable marriage you have. So at that quiet, left alone place, God saw the need. One more, one more in, in this Genesis here, one more. Remember it's in Eden, he made man. It's in Eden, he breathed nast into his nostril. It is in Eden, he farmed him and shaped him and put him in possession. Don't sleep, man. You heard a little thing they call artificial intelligence? You heard of it? Don't get carried away. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't pass that you have to be up there with things. Don't get carried away. We are God men. And we are God women. In Eden, God makes some animal from here to Mobe. He had not discussed with Adam what is it to be named. But he take them to Adam. In that quiet place of Eden, when you are left alone, intelligence will flow. I oh, praise the living Christ. From Eden, in the presence of God, God said everything that Adam said it is, that's what it is to this day. And God did not tell him. Out of Eden. Intelligence flow. Why should you walk carnation market all over at every melon heap and every breadfruit heap when you can ask God which breadfruit for buy? And you now for go buy three breadfruit and you go home with them all butter and you kiss your teeth and throw them away. You can ask him which breadfruit eat to stop. Hallelujah. Okay. Nobody didn't tell me what time to stop, but I, I think intelligence is telling me wind up. Oh, come on. And Jacob was left alone by himself. And there he settled with God. He wrestled with an angel. Let me, let me read that fast for you here as we come down. Oh, chapter 32 now. Oh, thank you, Lord. And he said, verse 26, let me go for the day break. It's time to finish church so the people can go home. And he said, I will not let thee go. Now, that's not the man is saying that to Jacob. It's Jacob saying, I am not letting you go. I have a scheming brother to deal with. 
And I have some inner issues that need to be sanctified. And this is a holy moment. After all, you will see in Hosea chapter 12, verse 4 and 5, when he said, and Jacob, he didn't say Jacob, but he said, and Jacob wept. Jacob wept. Jacob holla. Jacob bowed. Hosea chapter 12, I think. Well, let me verify. Verse 4 and 5. And Jacob wept. Let me, let me run on. Let me run on. Hallelujah. And then verse 27. And he said unto him, What is thy name? You see, for 20 years, nobody had ever asked, confront Jacob and ask him, What is your name? You have done what you have done to Esau. And you will saw that in Ozia also that he said, he being stronger, hold on to the heel of Esau. And being stronger, he prevailed with God. He prevailed with God. And the angel said, what is your name? Oh, don't tell me that a godly man, a godly being don't know Jacob. He knows. Remember? When he left in verse 1, and the angel went with him. Remember in chapter 28, when he was sleeping, he saw angel ascending, not descending first, ascending. There was an angel with him every place he go. This is the same angel. So he knows him. What is your name? And here comes this morning as we conclude our time together with this word in this main convention. Now the Spirit of the Lord God is asking us this very potent question this morning and those on social media and whatever. What is your name? Some people at church don't know you. And some people at home don't know you. We know how to put on the church look and we know how to put on the church behavior. But this is a moment as a, man, as a man wrestled. And the Bible said he wrestled with him all night. Now let me tell you. This wasn't a normal wrestling match. This is the day that God said, Jacob, I have been with you. I have guided you. I have helped you. I have protected you. And actually when he was leaving Laban's house... He said he was afraid of Laban and run and Laban take up as his horse and men and go after him and God stop Laban and say, Laban, don't touch Jacob. Leave Jacob alone. And he said, okay, God. And this is when he reached Jacob. He said, let me tell you, if God had not met with me, I would do you harm. So God was protecting Jacob. But here is a holy moment with a holy God. That we have some internal issues struggling with. Some sex issues. Amen, brothers. Nobody knows. There's a battle. Some confusion issues. And now the question is asked. What is really bugging you why you sound so hollow where you're not able to advance where you're not able to reach for it and everybody know that Jacob mean trickster schemer scammer everybody know general Jamaican term he lumps you as your quint Jamaican terms. That's what they hear. That's what Jacob is. But right in this holy wrestling match, all this while, 
The angel is wrestling with him. And he is wrestling with the angel. Verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be no more called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince thou hast power with God and with men and has prevailed. Read some more, Raymond, verse 29. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou ask after my name? And he blessed him there, that holy place, that left alone place, that quiet place. I'm grateful you are in church this morning, but between weekends, you need that holy place, that quiet place. It is my prayer this morning as we conclude our time in this word. It's 10 o'clock. That you find a quiet place in those on social media, wherever you are. And with all the problem that is bugging you and all the personality. I conclude to put all my papers here together. I came with my hymn book to read you a song. Won't read it all. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer. But there's a verse that I don't see in the hymn book. I don't see it in the hymn book. And that verse hit me as I conclude this morning I tell you I've seen my own contemporary people my age and I'm not very happy the way they look and I'm not here to even laugh and say oh I'm better than anybody here. I'm so grateful that God has hold on to me and wrestle with me and when I want to rebel and walk away he holds me and here I am this morning telling you God has helped me in. Thank you, God. But I'm not happy for some of my family members. I'm not happy if how I see some of my contemporary look. I know there's things there. Here's the song that I don't see in the hymn book. Because I the spirit of God to me. I was looking for it. Part of the sweet hour of prayer. The joy I feel. The bliss I share. Of those anxious spirits. Burn with strong desire. For thy return. With such I hasten to the place. Where God my savior show his face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. His is the kingdom. His is the power. And his is the glory. Stand with me, everybody. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. What a word. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. If you find yourself sleeping in the things you do, take time out for Jesus. He took time for you. He took the time to die on the cross. So all, oh so, would be lost if you find yourself. 
Examine ourselves. Are we spiritually there? Where have we slacked up? We need to rekindle our fire. Jacob was left alone, wrestling with the angel. Every man in the house, he too to die. We were calling to leadership. Wouldn't, wouldn't be lost. In the things you do, take time. Lift up your hands, brother. Lift up your hands. Into time for you. Oh, the time. Jacob was left alone. For those of us who are Bible readers, we knew what was the outcome. Jacob realized that his life was under threat by his brother Esau because he had robbed his brother Esau of his birthright. He became a con artist Knaiva. But Jacob realized his condition, his situation was not appropriate. He needs a change. He needs a turn in his life. And Jacob was left alone. 
We have weighed in the balance, brothers, men, found wanted. Some of us, we have dodged our responsibility. Some of us, we are living carelessly. We are wardly. But God is calling back us into leadership. God is calling us back to lead our family in the right and proper way. Not just a title, but we must demonstrate true leadership. Praise be to God. Lift up your hands on the altar. We repent this morning. We repent because we have fallen short. We repent because we have messed up. But we are getting back to the whole landmark. We are make a new commitment. <laughs> oh, glory to God. We need a fresh start. We need to find back our direction. We want God to place a burden in our hearts. I don't care how far you have drifted. But we are coming home. Jesus. Something is happening. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Pray, man. Pray, brother. Yes. We are the spiritual leaders in our home. We have slacked up. We have fallen short. Lift up your voice at the altar, man. Say something. Say, Father, forgive us. Mm, we have done wrong. We have done wrong, but we are making it right this morning. Jesus. Point your hands toward them, sister. Oh, glory be to God. Jesus. Touch us again, Lord. Reignite us again, Lord. Fall afresh on us, Lord. Lord God Almighty. We have dodged our responsibilities. We have leave it up to the females. We have leave it up to our wives. But God Almighty, we are stepping up as men. We are stepping up to make the change. To be an example to our children. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, reach out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. We are taking back our leadership position. We are taking back our homes. In the name of Jesus. We are taking it back in the name of Jesus. Where I have fallen Lord God Almighty. I'm getting up. Where I'm sleeping. I'm waking up. In the name of Jesus. Restore them Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we lift up, Lord God Almighty. Every man in this place, in this auditorium to your Father. Divine God, we have listened to your word. Oh, great God Almighty. And Father, Lord God, we are here this morning oh great God Almighty we want you Lord God to reinstate us we want you to empower us Lord God we want to take back our rightful place we want to find back our identity Lord God Almighty we want to live in our purpose this morning great God Almighty I pray divine God you will reconsecrate our life to you Lord God Almighty mighty. Oh God we bind the spirit. Oh God of laziness. Oh great God almighty. I pray right now that that will strengthen us as men. Oh great God almighty. You said we must bear your image. We must bear you Lord God almighty in your likeness. Oh God you give us dominion. Oh great God almighty and divine father. We pray that man 
will rise up and stand in the gap again this morning. We pray, divine God, that thou restore us, Lord God, to our true identity. Restore us to our true purpose, Lord God Almighty, that we will stand up, we will stand out, and we will show our leadership wherever we are, Lord God Almighty. We pray this morning that thou will breathe afresh upon us, O God, in the name of Jesus. We bind every negative force right now. Lord God, we bind the spirit of low self-esteem now. Divine God Almighty, it's not about our education. It's not what we have or what we don't have. But God, I pray that Lord God will rise up as men of God. Lord God Almighty, that will stand up for righteousness. That will stand up for holiness. That will stand up for uprightness that God will continue to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. We pray this morning, divine God, that thou will strengthen us in every aspect of our lives, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Jesus, Lord God Almighty, we bind, divine Lord God, everything, divine God, that will militate against us as men. Lord, we are not monsters. We are not dictators. Us, but God, we are your servant, divine God Almighty. We need fatherhood in the home. Oh, great God Almighty, man must stand up and represent you in the fullness of your glory. Lord God Almighty, I pray this morning, divine God, that thou will anoint us as men. Oh, God Almighty, you call to Gideon. Oh, Gideon, mighty man of valor oh God almighty we are mighty men of valor this morning we pray this morning God almighty that God we will take a place oh great God almighty like a Jacob Lord God we will meet with us oh God oh God we will take that place Lord like a Moses Lord God upon the mountain top to seek your direction to seek your inspiration in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God almighty has of today we will no longer be the same again oh God as of today oh God will recognize Lord God Almighty our true purpose oh great God to bear your image and your likeness oh God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth raise us up Lord God Almighty raise us up oh God Almighty raise us up in the community Lord God Almighty, raise us up, Lord God, on the job. Oh, God Almighty, raise us up, Lord God Almighty, in society. Great God Almighty, we are living in a busy world. But God, we pray that we will be agents of change this morning. We will be world changers this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh, glory to God. Brothers, lift your hands on the altar right now and give God thanks oh praise be to God lift up your voice of the altar right now oh great God tell God I need him more than ever tell God close to thee oh praise be to God tell God I'm coming back to the whole landmark oh Jesus Christ of Nazareth oh we bless him we bless him we bless him we bless him this morning hallelujah hallelujah Oh, glory to God. Men ought to praise him, man. Lift up your voice, man. Open up your mouth at the altar. Shame the devil. Oh, glory to God. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. And shame the devil. We were called by God. We were designed by God. We were molded and created by God. Oh, praise be to God. We are taking back our identity. We are taking Taking back our purpose. Oh, praise be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are the spiritual leaders of our home. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody stand in the auditorium. Oh, praise be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hands across this auditorium. Oh, praise God. Stretch your hands towards the man and say, Touch them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Bring them back to where they belong, Lord. Bring them back, Lord, in the path of righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I'm at your mercy. Please forgive me. I need your grace to make it through. All I have is you. I'm at your mercy. God oh Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus and so father we thank you for your servant whom you have used to challenge us as men on this men's convention we thank you Lord God for Bishop Dr. Delphi Davis who have chosen him and indeed, Lord God, he has delivered to us. And we pray, divine Lord God, that we'll set ourselves aside to commune with you. I pray that you'll strengthen your servant. I pray, Lord, that we'll never be the same again. And that, Lord God Almighty, we will do that which we are called to do. In your name, amen. And amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Praise God. As you return to your seat, praise God. Hallelujah. We ask the husher to prepare themselves. Praise be to God. I need the anointing. I need it way down in my soul. I need the anointing. Lord, I'm willing to work for you. I'm available. I'm willing to work. I am the anointing. Stand up, believe me. I am the anointing. I need it way down in my soul. I need the anointing. I need the anointing. Put your hands together. I need the anointing. Praise God. Were you blessed this morning by the servant of God? Hallelujah. 
Praise be to God. We are going to share in another year of worship. Praise God. Take out your best this morning. So only your best is good enough. Praise God. We give our tithes and offering. Praise God. To my left. Praise God. We give by card. Praise God. Bow your heads this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again, Lord, that as your people, we come, Lord, to share in another year of worship. As we come, Lord, to give back a portion of that which you have blessed us with. I pray to thy Lord God Almighty that thou will touch every gift and every giver. And even those who have nothing to give. I pray to thy Lord God that thou will open unto them the windows of heaven and pour them out your blessing. And Father, Lord God, as your people give back to you, for the furtherance of your work here and hurt, Lord. We ask the divine Lord God Almighty that you will bless. Lord God, you will multiply some 60, some 100. Lord, to the overflow. Lord, they will not have enough room to receive. I thank you right now, Lord God, for your blessing that you bestowed upon us. We thank you for hearing our cry. In your name, amen and amen. The husher will first give after the minister will follow. Praise God. At this time, I ask our Dr. Pechova Davis. She will come in to give some announcement, and then the announcer will come. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God, as we are in the order of worship, we continue to worship the Lord with our gifts. Just wave your hands in his presence. Just give him a wave offering. Give him a heave offering this morning. Almighty God, he's worthy. He deserves the glory. Glory to God. The Lord is really speaking to the church and especially to our men. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The same vein yesterday, alone time with God. For our men, I beg them that they form a prayer team to be called the warriors. Because our men need to get back to that place where they seek after God again. David says, a heart panted after the water broke. So panted my soul after thee, O God. And I know when our men seek God, God will endure them. God will empower them. God will anoint them and set them apart to take up the mantle that the Lord wants to place on them. I really look forward to see power of faith men standing up and standing out again and be in the place where God can use them. And it takes a life of sacrifice and a life of discipline. Glory to God. And I hope God will give our men that hunger, that thirst after righteousness, that they will get their rightful place and do what God will have them to do. Put your hands together and give our men a big hand this morning. Praise God. We continue to pray for them. And as we trust God, God's will will be done in their lives. Glory to God. Just some announcements. Praise God this morning. Bishop asked me to bring to the, your attention this morning. This Wednesday. Let me hear everybody say this Wednesday. All right, this Wednesday's fasting, all right, is going to be a little different. We are going to be having the ministers, the Portmore ministers fraternal, the pastors and members of their churches. They are going to be coming in collaboration with us here at Power of Faith to join in our fasting service. So this one here at Power of Faith this Wednesday will be a very special one. All right, so we are asking you all to be out and to be a part of this fasting service. Praise God. Each week we come to fasting service, God moves in different ways. And God works in mysterious ways. His wonders to perform. So please, this Wednesday, Portmore Ministers Fraternal, the pastors and their congregation will be here with us as we join forces together Pray until something happens. Praise be to God. So you are all invited to be out this Wednesday.
thank God. And, I, and from my point of view this morning, I just want to express my profound thanks and appreciation to all those who so far have made contribution, praise God, and sponsorship towards the Melodies of Praise teens and kiddies. You have done well, and I'm really giving God thanks for you here in Jamaica and also those overseas. So it's not just us alone, but persons overseas have made contribution. And one outstanding person, praise God, is a missionary Rochelle Stevenson. Praise God, she has made a very tangible contribution. And I want to say thank you and may God enrich you and bless you and pour out upon you super abundant blessings. We have also gotten contribution from missionary Evan Shaw, missionary Gloria Murray, Sister Saunders, Sister Jasmine White out of Orlando, Sister Anne-Marie McLean Hunter, she's sponsoring a coaster bus, praise God, Sister Judith Douglas in Canada, Sister Shereen Box Tyrell, Sister Anne-Marie Edwards, praise God, Sister Deaconess Valerie Simmet, and Sister Narvella Robinson. They have made contribution, and I just want to say how much we appreciate, and we give God thanks for you. There are others. Some say they want to remain anonymous, and I will do so. I, I, I respect people's um, privacy. So I want to say thanks again. We are still appealing because it's two different set of children. The kiddies will be going out on the 21st of July. That is two Fridays away. They are going to the Costa Farm and um, Attraction at the waterfalls there, the water park there. Praise God. We want you to send out the children. We want them to have a very good summer. So all the children that relates to melodies of praise, teens and kiddies, we want you to have a wonderful summer. So we are asking the parents, they may not have been out for a little while now. We still don't mind them coming. We want to show them love and appreciation. So we are asking you all to send out the children who are part of Melodies of Praise, teens and kiddies. And if your child is not yet a member of Melodies of Praise, teens and kiddies, and you'd like them to participate in production 2023, we're asking you also to send them out. Praise God, because immediately after they come back, July, they are going to be ministering in um, the Youth Sunday, the fourth Sunday, and after that, we are going straight into production. So we are starting early, so the month of August, production will commence. And this year's production, you think last year was good? We are hoping that this year will even be better, better, better. We are brainstorming to make it a difference. So we are asking you for your cooperation and your support. So please send out the children, all of the children that you like to be a part of the trip to the Costa Farm, ages 6 to 12. We ask you to send them out. We are doing registration now because we have to have a head count of those who are going. So we have the list with them and they board the bus. And when we are coming back, we do another check to make sure everybody is on board. The teens, they will be going to Mystic Mountain on the 15th of um, August. So we are asking you for your support. You may not be able to sponsor a full child, even half will make a difference. The teens sponsorship is $5,500. And the skittish sponsorship is $3,000. We look forward to your continued support. And the Lord bless you richly. All right. I think that may be it from me for now. The announcer, exhorter, Ricketts. The Lord bless you, sir. You can take your stand. Please listen 
and give him your full attention. Bless you. Minister Davis. Welcome to the pages of the Power of Faith Ministries Diary for the week beginning Sunday, July 9, 2023. Greetings came from the following brethren to our Bishop and Minister Davis and the Power of Faith family. Sister Shireen Vernon, special greetings to the Voice of Triumph Choir, Missionary Juliet Walker Burrell, special greetings to the Echoes of Faith and the Voice of Triumph Choirs, and to the Ladies Department. Sister Marcia Witter, Voices of Inspiration and the Voices of Triumph. Sister Ivy Rattray, Deaconess Valerie Smith, and Deaconess Pamela Lewis. Let us remember our brethren who are overseas in our prayers. In our meetings after service, persons who took passport size photos with Elder Mary and those interested in taking same, please meet with him in the multipurpose hall. Baptism instruction classes are held every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Wednesdays for persons interested in water baptism. I now pause and ask you kindly to pay attention to the monitor. Hello, Perfect Ministries members. We have some exciting news for you. Do you want to feel loved, honored, and appreciated? Do you want to have a great time and fellowship with your birthday month celebrants? Well, the PFM Birthday Club is back, new and reformed. Registrations have started. Get registered today. With a small contribution of $500, you are guaranteed a nice token, as well as to take home a keepsake. Yes, you don't want to miss out on this one. For further information, you may contact Exhorter Ricardo Ricketts, Exhorter Danique Morgan, or Brother Justin Frith. Don't hesitate to sign up. The fun awaits you. So yes, you have heard it. The PFM Birthday Club is up and running, and we'll be having a short meeting just by the Drossmo Mobile for all those who are interested. Are you interested in voice training or learning to play an instrument? Then here is your opportunity. Please meet with Brother John Miller by the Multipurpose Hall for further information. All men are asked to meet with Elder Gregory Brown immediately after service by the restaurant. Upcoming events. The next dedication of babies will be held on Sunday, August 6, in our 7 a.m. service. Persons who desire to have their babies dedicated or ask to take the baby's birth certificate to the church's administrative office Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The Women of Worth Department is inviting all ladies out tomorrow night at 7 p.m. to another fun and interesting ladies meeting. They will be having a Bible quiz water challenge and also a doctor will be in the house to discuss and answer all your questions about diabetes. The Bible Studies Department presents their 40th anniversary Family Fun Day themed extravaganza and concert on Monday, August 7, commencing at 7 a.m. Let me hear you say extravaganza. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it, is from, and it commences at 10 a.m. through to 5.30 p.m. Concert will commence at 6 p.m. through 9 p.m. Featuring artists Rhoda Isabella and our in-house ministers. It promises to be a blast. The sports department is inviting all members out to their annual sports and family fun day on Saturday, July 29, 2023 by the GC Foster College. Fair transportation cost is only $600. All elders are being asked to meet with Elder Antonia Morrison on Monday evening at 7 p.m. Coming soon to the PFM Family Television is a live broadcast under the Marriage Enrichment Ministries every first Monday commencing on the first Monday of August between the hours of 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Theme, love and marriage. Sick and death notices. The following persons are sick and at home or in the hospital. Deaconess, Victoria... Henry's daughter, thanks be to God, she's out of the hospital and recuperating at home. The following persons have passed away and funeral arrangements are pending. The mother of Brother 
Hugh Travelier, the husband of Sister Delores Smith, Sister Tiny, the son of Deaconess Victoria Henry, and the father of Brother Ricardo Ross. Scheduled funeral services. The funeral service for the late Sister Faithlin Evans Bernard, the mother of Sister Deborah Bernard, will be held on Friday, August 21st, right here at the Power Faith Ministries, commencing at 10 a.m. Interment will be at Medores. The combined choir is at the minister. The funeral service for the granddaughter of Sister Julia Coley Mitchell will be held on Sunday, July 23rd at the Port Henderson Seventh-day Adventist Church beginning at 10 a.m. The funeral service for the late brother Austin Hall will be held on Saturday, July 29 at the Portmore Missionary Church beginning at 10 a.m. Interment will be in Grovetown, Manchester. The funeral service for the son of Sister Bonica de Souza will be held on Saturday, August 5th at the Immaculate Conception Church in Stony Hill, St. Andrew. Interment will be at Pond River District in St. Mary. I now ask Minister Thorpe to come and give an announcement. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord another time. Praise God, we are getting back to the old landmark in every sense of the word. And we have two powerful midweek services. Wednesday night, it can be preaching or teaching. I guarantee you that if you leave straight from work and come to the sanctuary, we try to start by at least quarter to seven, and we know that there is a word for you. Let us get back to the word of God. Is that amen? amen? So just leave work and come to midweek service Wednesday night. And on Friday night, we have the powerful one because God said we should always remember to pray. And we have worldwide prayer meeting where we see God moving for his people. So Wednesday night and Friday night, let us pack this place out and build up our spirit. Is that amen? amen? Praise God. So see you on Wednesday night and Friday night, worldwide prayer meeting. God bless you. Thank you, Minister. And in closing, please remember to come out. Tonight, there will be a very dynamic speaker at our men's convention, inviting all ladies and, of course, the men. We were charged this morning to have some alone time with God. It was my pleasure serving you this morning. Thank you. Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Exalted Ricketts. Praise God. May ask us all to stand, please. Praise be to God. Praise God. Ladies, you know we can't do without you. And I beseech you as I stand here tonight's service. We don't want the guest speaker to be alone. All right. Uh, this is one of the main events. And I encourage us as believers, whenever you hear main events, Please give your support. All right. So tonight, praise God, I'm looking to see the place pack like this this morning. Is that amen? amen. Is that amen? amen? Is that amen? amen? Yes, we have a dynamic speaker that will be coming tonight. You're going to be blessed. You will never be disappointed. I tell you that. Praise God. What do we say? Jesus Christ. God shall perfect that which concerns me, and no weapon. No may the saving grace for Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Indeed, a timely and a prophetic word from the Lord. Remember friends, God doesn't change. We are the ones who change. So no matter how far you have drifted in Jamaica, we would say pull up, draw bricks, stop and return to the old landmark. We truly thank God that we were able to connect with you and we trust that you were blessed. Before we go, here are a few announcements and reminders. The Bible Studies Department's 
department invites you to Jamaica Extravaganza Fun Day and Concert on Monday, August 7. Yes, that will be the public holiday for independence. Monday, August 7, and it commences at 10 a.m. Please get your tickets from the admin office, the superintendents, and the teachers of the Bible Studies Department. It promises to be a day filled with lots of prizes and surprises, activities and rides for the entire family. Make it a date as we celebrate the blessings of the Lord. Immediately after this service, we invite you to remain with us for Bible studies or Sunday school, if that's how you know it. We cater for all persons and all ages. Come on down and enjoy the word broken down so you can understand it. And of course, we do look forward to your usual wonderful support. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the YouTube and Facebook links. And for those who have called in and stated your prayer requests, we will indeed be praying for a mighty move of God in your circumstances. Once again, on behalf of our founder, International Presiding Bishop, General Overseer Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, his wife, our International First Lady, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, and the entire Power Faith family, we thank you for tuning in to Sunday Morning Live. Until we see you again in the will of the Lord, I'm Minister Nathan Stevenson. Stay in God. I leave you with the blessing.